let's look at how to make categorical graphs using RStudio. I went ahead and read in a data set called DataBank. And this data set has a lot of different variables. If we look at the command head of data, we can see a summary of the variables here. We have age, education level, smoking status, exercise, weight, serum cholesterol, systolic blood pressure, IQ, sodium, gender, and marital status. I'm going to take a closer look at the marital status variable here and use that to plot my graphs. Marital status is given as four different letters, D for divorced, M for married, S for single, and W for widowed. So the first thing I want to do is change those letters to their actual term. I'm going to call this labels. And I'm going to use the C command, and I'm going to list these out. Divorced. Married. Single. And widowed. We always want to use quotation marks anytime we're using words or strings of letters rather than numbers. And we also want to make sure these are in alphabetical order since that's how R will read our variables in our data set. In order to create the bar graph, we need to use the command bar plot. And in order to do this, we'll actually have to input a table. And then I called the data set data, dollar sign, and we are using the variable marital status. And if we run this, we can see over here on the right hand side, the bar graph that happens. There are a few things we want to change here. First, inside here after the table command, I'm going to put a comma, main equal to, and then quotation marks, this will be the title of the bar graph. And I'm going to call it marital status. If I run this, I can see over on this right hand side that I've now labeled the top of the graph. In order to use the full labels that I have here, I'm going to add another command, which is names.arg. And I called those labels labels. And if I run that, we can see the letters change to the actual words that we created before. Another thing we might want to do is label our axes. Xlab, this will label the x-axis. If I run that, we can now see our x-axis is labeled. And similarly, Ylab will label our y-axis. And we can run this to see our y-axis is labeled. So we can see what each one of these commands does. Main will put in the top title of the graph. Names.arg is what's going to change the labels on the bottom. Xlab, that's our label for the x-axis. And Ylab is our label for the y-axis. Next, let's look at creating a pie chart for the same data. We're going to use the command pi, and we'll still input a table. Our data set's called data, and then dollar sign, marital status, for our variable. And we can see over at the bottom right our pie chart. Once again, there's some things we might want to change. Just like before, we can use the main command to change the title of the graph. If we run this, we can see that our pie chart is now labeled. Instead of names.arg, pie charts just use the command labels. And we labeled that labels. 
If we do that, we can see the change in our labeling. So the names.arg for bar plot is the labels for the pie chart. We don't have an x-axis and a y-axis here, but we can change the color. We'll use col equal to c, and then we'll list them out in order. Let's make divorced red. We'll make married gold. We'll make single chartreuse. And then we'll make widowed dark orchid, dark orchid. And if I run that, we can see the color change in my graph here. There are an abundance of colors that we could use for this pie chart. These are just some that I pulled up. If you would like to see Professor Pierce make more videos like this one, you can support her on Patreon in the link below. Any and all support means a lot to her. It allows her not only to make more videos, but it also allows her to campaign for free and accessible online education to conferences and other universities. Thank you for watching, and remember, math is for everyone.